Hey guys, it's Jenny with Art for Good. Today I'm working on a beautiful blue color palette and I'm going to do another series where I am doing a layered effect with a light source coming from the top of the painting, almost like you're looking up from being underwater. So let's get started. I have a different variety of blues that I happen to have already mixed. I'll put the best guess of some of those colors in the description below. I often mix my own uh, colors just if I want like a little touch of gray inside or what have you. So anyway, well, it'll give you a good idea anyway of what type of paint and colors I'm using. So the goal is to start, I did sketch this out with a pencil so that I could do that curved effect and kind of plan out in my head where I wanted the colors to be in this composition. So I found that the more you actually think about a painting before you start painting, the better the composition tends to turn out. I'm just using my hairdryer to blend them together. I'm going to do a series of swipes across the canvas so it may look a little crazy for a while but i promise you it will all come together at the end i'm using darker colors towards the bottom and then working upwards towards lighter colors and i'm going to blow that out just very slowly with my hair dryer in a lot of different sections and blend the colors together, almost like watercolor. I know in a lot of other acrylic paint pouring techniques, you don't wanna blend the colors together too much because you want that differentiation. But in this case, my colors are so similar that I really do want to blend them together. All right, now I'm gonna start working on the sky. I have some gray and then I have some very light blue. Again, working towards the top, which is gonna be a little circle of white to make it look like the, the sun light is shining down into the water.
All right, now I'm gonna use my hair dryer to just very gently kind of combine these colors or blend them together a little bit. This is an art, uh, pun intended, <laughs> more than a science. So um, really it's just continuing to do this until you're happy with the composition. It can be a little finicky for sure.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use my palette knife to blend these together and create a different type of effect. I was not 100% happy with the look of the hairdryer on the whole piece, so I'm gonna go in with my palette knife. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and give it even more of an ocean effect by doing some chameleon cells. If you're not familiar with chameleon cells, really it's just dipping a skewer into a particular brand of coconut hair serum. And I have a link to the product down in the description below. This is hands down the easiest way I have found to make cells. I do not use silicone oil in my paints. I use this with a skewer when I want some precision in where I want cells to appear. This is particularly great for um, ocean type effects and compositions.
Lastly, I'm gonna grab my respirator mask and I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of white spray paint at the top just to make it have this very uh, misty effect. It's a great trick to use spray paint over wet acrylic to really help different areas of your painting shine. And for this, this is the light source at the top. So I'm gonna try this white spray paint uh, in up there at the top and I will put the link to the exact product I'm using down below. And this is the final piece after it has dried. I really love how those cells give it interest. I love how the uh, light source is very sweet and the colors blend together so you don't really see where the water and the sky or what have you would even be differentiated. So it's really subtle, really beautiful. Let me know what you think about this piece down in the comments below. Well, that's all the time I have for today and I'll see you next time.